Keith Schiller is director of operations at the White House. He's one of Donald Trump's uh, closest advisors, uh, but he has an interesting background for that role. He used to be uh, chief of security for the Trump Organization. He was a New York City police detective. Uh, he started working part-time for Trump in 1999, uh, so he's been working for him for almost 20 years. Uh, he went full-time in 2004, so he was with him throughout the apprentice years in Trump Tower. So Uh, and then, of course, throughout the uh, presidential campaign. Keith Schiller knows Donald Trump uh, better than uh, probably anyone else in the White House, with the exception of the Trump family members. One of the things that people who know Schiller say about him is that he's a fiercely loyal person, and he has been very loyal to Donald Trump, including uh, in a physical sense, which you would expect given that he does security. Uh, but he did have some moments uh, during the campaign when he was especially aggressive in a way uh, that got a lot of scrutiny. Uh, there was a moment during a press conference in 2015 when Univision host uh, Jorge Ramos uh, was asking very loud questions about immigration, uh, which Donald Trump did not want to answer. He wanted to uh, call on a different reporter, and Keith Schiller appeared out of nowhere and sort of put a hand on, on Jorge Ramos's shoulder and pushed him out of the press conference. There was another moment during the campaign when uh, he went to a protester outside Trump Tower and took a, a sign from him, a large sign that said, Make America Racist Again. Uh, the guy kind of came after him trying to get his sign back and, and did grab Schiller, but Schiller turned right around and punched him in the face. Now it's important to note that his official job in the White House is not security. Uh, he is director of operations, but what that means in, in practice, we're still sort of learning. Uh, what it seems to mean is that is kind of spending time with Trump. Uh, he's a guy who sometimes goes back to the residence with Trump in the evening at a time when he's watching cable TV, kind of sits around uh, while the president is drinking Diet Coke and watching, uh, watching cable. He played a very important role maybe a surprisingly important role in the firing of James Comey. It was Keith Schiller who Donald Trump dispatched to FBI headquarters to deliver uh, the, the letter uh, that Trump had written firing Comey. In 2015, he sat down for this video interview with a high school buddy uh, who posted the video on Facebook. It's about an hour long. And in the course of that video, uh, Schiller describes how when he was a New York City police detective in 1999, he happened to encounter Marla Maples, uh, then Donald Trump's ex-wife, at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. And he saw her bodyguard and he was unimpressed. He did not think the guy looked big enough or strong enough to be a bodyguard to someone as important as Mar Marla Maples. And you know, knowing what I have, have done over the years, Right. You know, I, I, I'm no stranger to putting my hands on people. Right. You, know, when <laughs> You know, he says, I'm no stranger to putting my hands on people. Uh, so that's sort of what he saw as his own role as being a, a bodyguard. And indeed, he uh, got someone to give Trump a, a good word for him and got hired pretty quickly after that as a part-time bodyguard to Donald Trump. 